Well, according to a new survey by the Kaiser Family Foundation, more and more millennials are skipping out on visiting the doctor or even having a primary care physician. Some doctors fear this could mean people overlooking serious health issues. Now, joining me now in studio to talk about this trend is Dr. Niket Sonpal, an adjunct professor at Toro College of Osteopathic Medicine. And a lot of people watching have this question, why are millennials skipping out? Why are they avoiding going to the doctor? I think there's a few reasons. Uh, I think the primary one happens to be um, access to care. We found that millennials tend to want to have access to care right away. They want it immediately and they want to be able to see a doctor quickly. That's why programs like telehealth, like Roman Health and so forth are doing so much more business simply because when they feel well, they don't want to go to the doctor. They don't feel the need to go. And they don't. And so when they feel unwell, they're like, I want to see a doctor right away and not wait for weeks for an appointment. And that could long term, I would imagine, be problematic, right? What Absolutely. are the key things that they might be missing by well, having a primary care doctor? The big, big one that we're worried about now, and I think it's a big global health crisis, is not getting their vaccinations on time. There's mm -hmm. a quote unquote controversy with vaccinations, but at the end of the day, vaccinations save lives and there is no controversy. And there are some other key tests as well, right, that they should be absolutely. getting at their primary care visits that they're likely missing. Can you talk to us about those? Oh, absolutely. So the big one is we're a generation, because I technically fall into the millennial crowd, to check your eyes. Every year you should have your eyes checked. We're behind phones. We work in front of computers a lot. Blood pressure screening every couple of years is a big thing to do. In addition, we also want people to do annual pap smears when they start at the age of 21, and more importantly, STD and STI screening. And those are some key tests that are specific to women. And yes. are there any that uh, young men should be concerned about too well, at this stage? At this point, for both men and women, mental health screening is a big thing as well. This is considered sort of the burnout generation. Mental health and suicide is on the rise. And so we want people to be, feel open to talk to their physicians and get help. And another one that we have on our screen here, IBS and digestive. Tell yeah, us a little so bit about that. This one that. is close to me as a gastroenterologist. Part of the brain-gut axis is that when we feel anxiety or depression, we have a great deal of um, sort of positive sequelae and negative sequelae. The big ones are irritable bowel syndrome, difficulty with having bowel movements, alternating with diarrhea, and this can cause people to feel unwell and not even want to go to work. And you touched on this a little bit earlier, uh, that millennials sort of want the immediacy of yes. when they don't feel well to get in to see a doctor right away. Correct. How is this affecting urgent care providers? And do you get that same type of care if you pop into an urgent care facility? Yes, urgent care is staffed by physicians and also mid-level providers. And you get the same level of care that you would if you went to a physician's office. The difference is urgent care is bridging that gap as there is a national physician shortage. And I would imagine that because they don't have your prior history, they're right. sort of locking in that knowledge. Uh, can that be a problem long term? Well, as long as you come to them with the amount of knowledge that you have about your previous care, it does help them. But what they do is they have an electronic medical record like any other office. They keep their records and they're nationalized. So, for example, CityMD, if you go uptown or downtown, they know who you are. They know who you are. Okay, that's good to know. So the takeaway here, uh, even if you're young, you may think you're yeah. invincible yeah. and that you don't need a primary care physician. It, it is important. Absolutely. Go see a doctor every year. It might just be a quick check, but it could find something that's missing, and of course, get your vaccinations. All right, Dr. Paul, thank you so much oh, for your you time. Thank you for having Great me. Great to have you here. Likewise.